What's up guys, I'm VaporNight13 and today we are going to be um, looking up at how exactly we can set up Open Broadcaster software. Basically I'm going to go through the settings, I'm going to, um, from what I already, from what I know about some of these settings, because there are quite a lot of settings you actually have to go through. Um, I mean, you know, if you work with a program like Fraps or something, you know, it, it does it completely automatically. And frankly, I think Fraps is pathetic. I mean, I know the quality is nice, but you know what? It uses up way, way too much freaking, uh, not, not even RAM, uh, too much memory. The raw files are, it creates are just so not worth it. I mean, a two minute vi video will turn out to eight gigs. And that's because it's AVI. It's a raw file, and it absolutely sucks. It does not even come with compression. And how much do you pay for that crap? It's, it's stupid. So anyways, Open Broadcaster is completely free, open source, which is so nice. Here, I'll actually go to the website right now. <clears throat> they, um, they're they still updating it. Uh, it's April 5th, January 14th. Or, uh, April 5th. God damn it. It's April 5th, 2014. Um, so yeah, I mean, you can record basically anything. Um, there are certain circumstances, like on Skyrim, how you need to set it to borderless uh, full screen because um, there are certain games where you can't actually record in live uh, uh, full screen. You actually, you know. Uh, and what the hell? Okay, I am almost positive that is Halo 2, and they don't and they don't have open broadcaster software on Halo 2, or I, I mean on Xbox. So what the hell? What? Oh no, actually, sorry, uh, sorry guys, I, I was being stupid. That makes complete sense. Anyway, so this is their website. You can, um go to download if you want to download it. Uh, let's just go over here real quick. Oh my god, my internet's been acting up, and I have no idea why. If you guys know how to fix this, that'd be greatly appreciated. <sighs> Anyways, normally if you go there and, uh, and then you go to download, if you're 64-bit, you're going to want to download binaries. If you're 32-bit, you're just going to want to click on the big download button. So let's go over into settings. Alright, so now we can go... Uh, Alright, so now there are quite a lot of things to go over. If you like to work uh, in multiple profiles, like you have, to, uh, you like to have multiple sets of profile uh, of settings. No, uh, no problem there because you can set a profile. For me, uh, I don't really want to, uh, but uh, for sure it's one of these that you know, adds it. But um, anyway, so let's go to encoding. Now I've got to keep in mind, guys. I got a gaming computer, so when I record with OBS, it's in 1080p. Um, the the video so, uh, the video files have very um, low amounts of memory. Um, well, in comparison to Fraps, I mean, with Fraps it's like two minutes for eight gigs, but uh, with OBS, um, I did about an hour. Um, I think I did like an hour and thirty minute long video for only a, gi a gig point, uh, like one point ten gigs. So. That is really good. That is really, really good. All right, so I would suggest encoding it in 264. That's what I've always been using, and my video quality is pretty damn good. I uh, can't seem to get the, uh, the this NVIDIA thing working. I mean, I, I know I got a uh, NVIDIA graphics card. I just can't seem to get it working for whatever reason. So use CBR. Um, I'm, I leave that unchecked. So basically, here are all my settings. This I left it um, as it was because I don't think I made any audio encoding changes. I did make bitrate changes, buffer size changes. Make sure you click that use custom um, buffer size, otherwise it'll just do CBR padding and or uh, it'll just uh, create a custom uh, buffer size, and you never want that um, because normally it's not great. So even if you have a crappy computer, you know what? Use custom buffer size and turn it down. You know, not exactly twenty thousand, but you know. So quality balance. Every OBS uh, video I've seen, or all the good ones, anyways, they always say that quality balance is not what you think, and 
they're, they are right. Um, because normally they think like um, quality balance zero is best uh, performance and 10 is best quality, but low perform, you know. Um, but it's actually not the case. Um, apparently, like each number has its own different settings. I'm not quite sure how the system works. All I know is that, I mean, I normally play FPS games or FPA or games that have like FPS type graphics, kind of like Planet Side or something or World Out War. Um, so seven is good for uh, for FPS, even eight. You know, mm, I wouldn't really go any higher to be quite honest. Regardless of how good your machine is, kind of like mine. I mean, my machine could handle it if it worked like that, but you know. So uh, broadcast settings. This doesn't have anything to do with audio encoding or video, yeah, video settings or anything like that. This is basically whether you want to do file output. So you just want to put the file somewhere uh, on your computer, or you want to do live streaming because OBS does come with live streaming. So you can see here. Yeah, um, I am. I'm not exactly an expert on live stream. I'm, I'm not even a beginner at live streaming, to be quite honest. So let's go back into file output only. Uh, now, if you want to start and out, um, if you if you don't live stream, then completely disregard the start stream and stop stream hotkeys. Uh, but if you are, um, uh, but if you are, then I would suggest leaving them on something. Start and stop recording is basically what you're going to want to look at. Um, so start and stop stream is for if you're live streaming. Start and stop recording is for if you're recording. Now, live streaming does also put a f um, does also output um, a file to your to computer wherever you put the um, the little file path. <clears throat> so uh, yeah, so start and stop recording. I suggest that to, I suggest setting that to something like I did, like the uh, on the number pad on the number pad I got it on uh, star and um, oh, what was it like. I think that's like backslash, I don't know. Um, so star and backslash, just because you don't really use those in games. Maybe Arma 3, just because Arma 3 is ridiculous when it comes to controls. But, um, yeah, so, uh, do you want to play new? No. Okay. So, now let's get, all right, so now we just talked about this. There really isn't much to talk about, though. Um, video. Video, it's, it's pretty basic. Um, I can tell you already, FPS... Uh, that's kind of your preference, to be quite honest, frames per second. Um, on my old computer, a really crappy computer, I could get 30 frames. And, uh, and I had a bad AMD card, and the CPU was crap. So, I, uh, if you can't do 60 like I can, then go, uh, go 30. Um, resolution downscale is definitely going to help, because that basically downscales, um, the resolution that it records at, whether that's uh, 1920 or 860 and, and or 640, but you know that that really is uh, based on your computer. Like if your computer can handle it, like mine, then go uh, go 19 uh, and go your max resolution because that's always going to look nicer. But performance wise, if you're on a an, a not so good computer, then or not as good computer, then it may not be the best option. Custom and monitor. Um, this kind of helps if you're using multiple monitors. But unlike um, unlike other people that do, uh, I only use my computer screen occasionally in my TV. So uh, I just leave that on custom. And you're gonna want to put your res the resolution that you're recording in. Now this can be super helpful because say there's a game where you can't quite get to your normal resolution. You're gonna want to set, um, but you're gonna want to set that uh, the game's resolution here because otherwise it may look kind of, you know, you know kind of weird. All right, if you have multiple uh, graphics cards, then yeah, you have an option. Otherwise, just leave it. Um, for those of, I think, yeah, here for those of you that, um, what on earth? Okay, I can't even disable Arrow maybe because I'm on Windows 8. I have no idea, but. <clears throat> um, there is a disable arrow checkbox. Now, if you are, um, if you can get that option, absolutely, with unequivocally, uh, unequivocally, without a doubt, do that because that is going to speed up your recording by so much. Um, if you if you're on a, a a computer like mine, you don't really need to. I mean, I got like 16 gigs of memory, a 
a uh, fourth gen core i7, so I don't really need to, even if I could, but, um, you know. So I would suggest because it, it um, disables a lot of things, you know, visually for Windows. Um, so, like, you know, custom color on the bar here, and honestly, I can't really think of anything else, because that's all, really the only thing I noticed. If you want to put now. Um, so yeah, disabling arrow really does help if you're not on exactly a great computer. Alright, so let's continue. Desktop, alright, so the, um, this is kind of your preference, whether, um, alright, so this is the audio that um, is going to be recording your, or here, your desktop audio device is going to be recording your, <clears throat> is going to be recording your game or desktop or wherever you're recording. Uh, microphone slash auxiliary audio device, that's basically your microphone that, um, to, you know, um, so that will actually pick up your voice, um, as well as, you know, other people, whether you're talking on Skype or whatever. Um, so force my, uh, when, uh, show only connected devices, I would honestly do that. Because you don't want to select a device that's unconnected, and then, you know, five seconds later, you notice your voice isn't working. Uh, you can use push to talk if you want. I never do that, so I don't truly know how to, you know. Uh, you can do a push to talk delay. Uh, frankly, I don't really want to. Um, I don't really... But th that's milliseconds, so uh, mute and unmute mic hotkey. That that can be useful um, because I got a. I mean, I'm using a Turtle Beach Z11. However, it it'd be helpful if I could just click like minus or something and mute my uh, mic, you know, because uh, frankly, my parents and siblings walk in here 24/7 for whatever reason, because apparently they think my room is <clears throat> quote unquote fun for whatever reason. Uh, so mute unmute desktop uh, hockey now. That will stop, that will mute any uh, desktop audio or game audio, depending on, you know, if you're in a game or if you're recording your desktop like I am. So, yeah. Um, desktop boost, um, that, this can be really helpful. So, you know, say if you have a really unsensitive microphone, um, or they can't, or, you know, for whatever reason, they can't hear your uh, game very well and you can't really adjust it. Um, you know, th this can be really useful because, you know, you can boost it. My ta time offset, I don't even mess with that. I don't, r I, I can't really say what it does, so I really just don't want to mess with it. Advanced, uh, apply changes, no. Alright, now, this is what I have for all my advanced settings. Um, I'm, I, I really don't want to talk about this one because I don't want to. I don't want to say something that I don't know, and then you know you guys get the wrong idea or anything. So basically, now keep in mind I am on a Asus G750 JX gaming computer. If you don't know what that is, it has 16 gigabytes of RAM. It's you know, it's got a really good CPU. It's got a lot. Of, it's got a crap ton of RAM. Um. The video card's amazing. I mean, it's a GeForce GTX 770M. So, just keep in mind when you're looking at these settings, uh, a couple of these settings, you know, I do that because I have such a good computer. Um, I would suggest doing this custom X264. I don't know if that's you know, needed for um, good computers or back. I, I don't really know. But I would suggest doing that because that is going to help your video. Um, I don't even, I, I never even touched this, um, as well as the network. I really only messed a little bit with the video and the general settings of this area. So, priority class. Now, um, I can talk about a couple things, because a couple of these things I do know about. So, you know how in Task Manager, you know, you go into Task Manager, hey, you know what, I want to boost the program, so, uh, change pri or set priority a lot of you may know this some of you may not change priority and that's basically how much um, CPU usage is uh, how, how much of the CPU is going to be used by that program that can speed up your uh, your program but if you don't have a very good CPU or or you don't have a lot of RAM then that can slow down your computer as well as your game which you might not want so just make sure you have uh, you and you know there are multiple uh, priority classes you start out with normal but you know if you do a, um, maybe high is too much maybe you can, uh, only do above normal and notice how they don't have real time I'll, um, I'm a little bit curious as to why uh, but anyways, um, if you have a good enough computer, set it to high because that will help. 
uh, disable encode uh, no no uh, everything else I didn't even mess with I just changed the priority class now the encoding pro uh, uh, the en I think the encoding profile I pretty much left that default but the CPU pre um, preset um, even if you have a good computer like me, you're not going to want to go above very fast just because it can it can jack some stuff up. Um, so yeah, you're um, you're you're probably going to want to leave that as is unless you have a good computer, like yeah, you, know, you know, like a gaming computer or something. So microphone no noise gate. Um, I can't really say a lot about this because I never touched anything in here. It kind of always just worked without me touching anything. Um, you can change the thresholds. Uh, I'm not going to go into what that is, but if you know what I'm talking about, you can change the threshold, the close and open thresholds right here. So, yeah. All right, so this pretty much covers the uh, OBS settings um, or in how to set it up. So, there is um, there is one or two more things I want to cover real quick. Scenes and sources. Now, scenes. Honestly, I can't really understand why you would use, use a scene because um, you can record. Um, you, you can sometimes record multiple programs at the same time. So you notice how there are a bunch of checkboxes. So I could have a program here. I could pro have OBS. Uh, I could have a program here, and I could have a program here. I could check uh, box all of those programs and I'll tell you how to set those up in a second uh, and then it will record all of them however there may be like a black box here based on you know if there's something here or there isn't something here you know so so yeah let's go into that real quick so I'm gonna um, so and I always leave this scene because um, I don't do any live streams or anything like that so it's like uh, but anyways so let's go Let's go into all right. Yeah, make sure you don't right click on one of these, uh, but cl uh, right click sort of at the bottom here. Uh, you know where it only says add. And now based on what, so if you're recording Google Chrome for instance, and you only want to record Google Chrome, Window Capture is probably your best option. If you want to record the entire desktop, do Monitor Capture like I am. If you want to do a video capture device, I I think you know something like the Dazzle or Roxio, then you can probably do that. Game capture is when you're playing World at War on your PC or, you know, Far Cry or whatever, and you want to record that. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to, um, you know, what? I'm going to go into game capture. I'm just going to call it game capture. And now what you're going to want to do now, here's what I always do. You know, you're, um, it's sort of your preference, but frankly, I have no idea how to use this right here. Um, this is what I always use and it always works perfectly. All right. So, bait all right, So, um, it, this catches all applications. There are certain ones that it doesn't catch. Like I said, there are a couple ones, like, kind of like the Skyrim full screen one, and I think occasionally Borderlands too. So, if I open up Google or up uh, Chrome, it'll or no, sorry, hold on. Well, that's a little bit weird because it should be detecting Chrome, but, um, yeah, my, my computer has been through quite a bit, so, um, so let's open up, I don't even know, you know what, uh, let's open up Uplay, let's see if it detects that, and if it doesn't, then, yeah, you got, I'll just have to explain it to you guys, uh, but, There we go. So it detects it. So what we can do, so for certain games, you're going to have to stretch image to screen. It's kind of based on your resolution. Resolution. So if the resolution in the video isn't what you wanted it to be or not what you thought it was supposed to be, stretch image to screen. Kind of mess with that because that can always help. I wouldn't suggest messing with oh, I mean, you can you know capture mouse cursor. That's preference. Invert cursor on click. I, that's like, you know, what the hell? A gamma, that's preference. Um, and let's hit OK. So now what we can do is if we turn off monitor capture. Oh, well. Well, you know what? Screw it. Normally this works, all right? I'll, I'll just tell you guys that much. I'm going to remove that and open up monitor capture again. 
And it's probably just not working because I set it to game capture, and you know, it's you play. It's not actually tech. It's not technically a game. So, so what you're gonna want to do is once you open up, say, something like World at War or Loadout, you're gonna want to, uh, you know, open uh, make a new game capture. And this is only the first time you um, you set it up. You know, the first time you want to record a different game. So, uh, so you know, select world, uh, but you have to have World at War or whatever you want to record uh, open. So, hit, um, you know, uh, hit World at War. It should be there. All right, then hit OK. Now, just make sure World at War and nothing else is checkbox, assuming that you only want to record that specific game. All right. Now that's the now you only have to do that sort of for the first time you want to record a new game. So because I've already cre so next time I want to record World at War, I don't have to do that again because I already have a Call of Duty World at War thing here. Oops, cancel. All right, guys. So I mean that's more or less the basics of how to set up and sort of use um, open broadcaster settings or uh, open, open broadcaster so god damn it I said settings well you know what you guys know what I mean alright so thanks for watching um, and I just want to tell you guys something alright um, <clears throat> sorry I was kind of drinking there but um, I want to tell you guys something you know I've been on YouTube for two years now, and frankly, I'm at and I'm still lucky to get um, a video with 50 views, and I think that's a little bit sad. You know what? E e e you know, I think that's a little bit sad. Because I see YouTubers with not even half as many videos or subscribers as I have, and they get like 10,000 views of video easy. All right, so. And you know, I'm going to continue making whatever video I feel like until you guys show me some support by you know telling me in the comment section below what kind of video you want. All right, I'm I'm being blunt with you guys because frankly, it it's just getting really tiresome. All right, uh, so all right, and I'm I'm gonna keep recording what I want. So. I'll record what you guys want. So if you guys want me to record a specific World at War video or some, uh, not Skyrim, but um, I'm actually getting Titanfall tomorrow. So if you want me to uh, start recording some Titanfall campaign or something, you know, or you guys want me to play with you on Titanfall and we'll co record that, you know, send me a freaking comment, or you know, co uh, you know, comment me in the, you know, post a comment in the comment section below, all right, and to, and just tell me what exactly you guys want whether it's a tutorial for the far cry 3 editor or you know something just so yeah i just want to say that so thanks guys please show your support by like a like or something and <clears throat> as always hope you enjoyed and if th if you are having some trouble with uh, open broadcaster so um software just simply um you know ask me in the comment section below this is what i'm talking about support all right so later guys hope you enjoyed it Hope this helped. Peace.